In this video, we're going to look at how you can set up a third party payable type deduction that can also be used for paying agents into a separate savings account. Now on a typical deal in law 47, you're going to see uh, the deductions that we normally have. So you can see here, we've got the agent's fee plan. They have a, a couple of uh, deductions and we will be adding a, a third fee to this section here, our payable type third party agent savings fee. But first of all, we need to look at a couple of steps because we will have to set this fee up. So first of all, we need to create a profile. So this will be a second profile type that can be used uh, to uh, pay your agent savings account. So you can see here, I've set up uh, an account called Manchester Savings Account. Now it's just a regular contact type profile. And you can see it has the, the name of the profile, which is Manchester Savings Account but there must be an email associated to it. So this cannot be the same as your agent email. It's important to know that. So you have to have a unique email in this savings account because this email will ultimately receive the payment link from payload uh, to receive the actual payment. So it has to be a unique email. So please uh, do make a note of that. It cannot be the same email as that in the agent profile. So when you're ready, go ahead and hit save. And we have created our profile. And now what we need to do is create our deduction. So the second step is to create a deduction. It has to be a payable type deduction. That looks like this, it's a payable type fee. And we want to make sure that it is set to come out of the commission account or whichever account you use to make this payment. Also, the payee must be the account that we created earlier on when we were looking at the profile. So you can see here as well, you do have the option if you wish to, you can create separate payable type fees and name them for each individual payee, or you can just create the one savings account. It depends, obviously, it depends how many agents you have that will have the savings account. So I'm just creating the one savings account here and I'm hitting save. And now we can go back to our deal in Loft 47 and we can take a look at the deductions page. And under the deductions page, we can go ahead and add our agent savings fee that we just created. We can then go down and we can enter the dollar amount. So on this deal, we're going to be giving $500 to the agent savings account. We're gonna hit update to make sure that sticks. So you can see we have $500 now. Now you do have the option here to change the payee if you wish to do so. And below we see the link here that says pay directly. Now, if we go ahead and click pay directly, it opens up this box where you can see we're going to be sending the activation payment link to our account that we set up. So we can go ahead then and click uh, the button when we're ready. And this is going to send the payment activation link over uh, to the email that was on the profile for the savings account. So that's why it's important to have a unique email there. Now let's take a look at what the end user receives. So the end user receives the email that looks like this one. And you can see here it's a payment activation uh, for the Manchester agent savings account. And you can also see it says that below is the link to receive the funds from Law 47. And it also lets you know what uh, deal this is related to. So when the end user is ready, so this could be the agent, if they are receiving it into their savings account, you're gonna click connect account and you open the payload form and you can then go ahead and click enter bank details and the recipient, so the agent can enter their bank details for their savings account here. Now they'll only have to do this on the, on the first occasion that they receive these funds. 
so they can enter all of their banking information they can enter all of that and go ahead and then when they're ready they can click submit now back in loft 47 what you can then do is you can go ahead and actually take care of the payout on the deal so none of the payments will be processed until the deals actually paid out so we're going to go into the deal and you can see here we do have our agent savings deduction noted as a deduction so the agent payout will be the correct amount less all of the deductions on the deal we're going to select pay by payload and then click the pay all button and we can say yes we want to close the deal and now as an administrator you can go down to your integrations menu and you can take care of the main agent payout so all you have to do is go to the make a payment area and click on that and that will take care of the main agent payout and remember your other payout will be on its way uh, via the activation link that you sent so now back in loft we can take a look at the deductions uh, under the pay stub so if you want to make sure that everything is paid correctly go into your pay stub and you can check you'll see that the $500 agent savings fee is noted on the pay stub so you know that has been sent and you can also check the transactions page here where you'll see the agent payout and you'll also see the secondary payout for the payable for the $500 so you know on the deal that both payouts have gone successfully and you've paid your agent